child. Many times it seems in the black community, I've seen so many memes about this kind of stuff, like on Blavity or whatever on Instagram. But, you know, growing up black and your mama would come in like, what you, shut up, what you crying for? Like we haven't many times had the opportunity to express our emotions. And so we learn to suppress them, right? We weren't allowed to have emotional uh, expression of how we were feeling. Even in, in getting a whooping, I, I remember hearing Oprah Winfrey describe how her grandmother, you know, met, whipped her with a switch, whipping her with a switch. After I went that through the same thing. I went through the same thing. And it's like, thing. shut up that crying. Like you can't even express the pain that you're feeling, right? So if you grow up with that, that's impacting your mental health and it's, it's not allowing you the opportunity to value your whole being, your whole way of how you feel. And so if you move about this world like that, then that's how you're going to treat other people, i.e. when you have kids and you're not allowing them to express themselves or understanding how they may present themselves. Sometimes that's the issue with autism, for example. If we're just moving about, we may not notice some of the signs or the symptoms that our child is um, exhibiting with autism. It may be the teacher that lets you know, because that teacher is there with that child for that set number of hours and seeing how they operate, you know, versus other children in the, in the space. And I believe at that time, it's important for us to be open to knowing what is being presented to us. Also to not only just take that opinion, but to get second and third opinions. And more importantly, when you have your child go to his or her physicals, you know, that's a requirement for schools, whatever it is, that they have their checkups, right? It doesn't have to be just their physical checkup, that they're checking that their knee reflexes are working or their vision is good, but also you as a parent or caregiver can ask for a mental health evaluation. It doesn't mean that you think that something is wrong, but that child could be experiencing something they haven't expressed to you yet. You know, we don't hear about somebody who have experienced sexual abuse until they're well into their adulthood because they were scared to share. But it's during these times that if they're saying certain things as a child, more questions can be asked to find out what is going on. If they're continuing to wet the bed, that may not be just because they don't want to get up and go to the bathroom. Somebody could have touched them inappropriately. Something could have happened to them, traumatic, and that's the way it's being expressed. So to answer your question, it's important for us to use our voices to stand up for someone. I, I mean, I remember in school with those students who had developmental disabilities, somebody was standing up if somebody, if another student was like making fun of them or something like that. You can be that person. Don't be the bully. Be the person who is speaking up on behalf of those whose voices are not as amplified as yours may be. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Price with the Black Culture Podcast. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our channel. We're on YouTube, Apple, Google, and Spotify, where we talk about everything about the black culture. And follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the Black Culture Podcast. Peace. Peace.